Today I'll be showing you how to light your videos indoors. Look how bad that light looks. We've got to saw that out today. This video is going to show you exactly how to improve that lighting. That's better. That's much better. We're going to show you exactly how to do that. Hang on a minute. Who turned the lights off? Okay, so you get into filming, you've got your camera, maybe you've got your phone, you're thinking, I really need to film. I, I really need to light my videos well. Now, there's lots of ways you can do it. Um, the easiest way, if you're filming indoors, is, is sit next to a window and perhaps have the light coming from one side so it gives that maybe a film look or, you know, use the brightest room in your house, that sort of thing, have a particular setup. But today, I really want to get into a bit more detail on the best way to light your video. Now, the easiest, the most professional way is sort of man-made lighting. So what I use is a um, film box, um, it's a flood box, um, a brilliant bit of kit. You can get them from uh, off the internet for about 100, a set of two. Um, I tend to use one just because the room I'm using is, is quite small, so I, you know you don't, don't want to overpower it. Okay, so you're all set up, and I would say for the perfect bit of light, and this is what I would do I would have at least one flood light, or maybe two if you're in a bigger room, and play around with light in different angles, what works best for you. If you haven't got glasses, I would have a light behind the camera sort of looking on your face it would light you up really perfectly even you out and you look really nice and fresh and it just looks really professional also the one little thing to know i find if you have the camera slightly higher than your eye level i find also that sort of um, makes for a better angle as well if you're wearing uh, glasses like me i would recommend definitely having uh, perhaps a second light or even a third light depending on the size of the room and playing around with different angles so you haven't got the reflection on your glasses I find the best way to fix this now and this took a lot of practice was reflecting my flood box light off the wall behind my camera which just happens to be a light wall if not get a light sheet or a, a white bed and um, bed cover and that's a way you could use that as a you know easy free way to reflect the light and then you'll get a nice soft look as well. And hopefully you're, if you've got the angle right, and just play around with just move the light around so the lens disappears. So if, you, if I look at my lens now, you might notice if I go like that, you can just sort of see uh, on my lens. So by changing the angle of my face now, you can see the big massive reflection in my eye and it's really, really frustrating. So you imagine in uh, some of my much older videos, you will probably notice I had big massive square reflecting in my glass so you couldn't really connect with me it was probably just irritating or you know just off putting like what what's this big reflection in his lens what's all that about and it just looks unprofessional so bear that in mind as well so that is for me the the perfect setup so you got value from this video and um, don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell to get our weekly filmmaking tip videos please subscribe if you've got value from this video or from any of our videos also don't forget that we do a podcast now on saturday which is exciting stuff i'm loved doing them where we're going to in more detail on topics within filmmaking and uh, just thank you again for the support and uh, watch more videos Cl click on the cards at the end of the videos watch some more of TV random you know just stay here watch as many as you want because you guys help the TVR universe grow so you know thank you again and if you've got any questions or any uh, particular tips you want me to do a video on feel free to send me a message and I'll see what I can do so have a great day and don't forget guys you guys rock